remember sitting at my desk as a young schoolgirl on Valentine's Day, wondering if I was going to discover a card had been slipped into my school bag during the day from a secret admirer. But all the anticipation and expectation just left my heart longing for a love that is genuine and not simply packaged or commercial. Fortunately, God does not exclude anyone, single or in a relationship, from his unending love and grace. Love is how God expresses himself completely. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 8, Paul tells us the character traits of love, what love looks like. He says love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres, love never fails. Then in 1 John chapter 4 verse 8, we read that God is love. That's who he is. So God himself is all these things. God is patient and kind. He keeps no record of wrongs. He always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. God's love is a perfect love that no one on earth could ever emulate. However, God's love, like the ocean, cannot be fully comprehended unless it is experienced. No one can truly convey its wonders to you until you experience it, until you possess it for yourself. I can honestly say that once I experienced the love of God, I was never the same. I remember the moment like it was yesterday as a young girl doubting the very existence of God, wondering, is God real? How could this loving God who I'd never experienced, who in my fragile perspective had never shown me any love, be real? But the thought of God not being real was too much for me to bear. So I made a decision that night whether I ever experienced God's love or not. I was going to serve Him regardless for the rest of my life. It was an act of faith. And in that moment, it seemed like all of heaven opened up and a love like I had never known poured down all over me. I sat in my little room feeling, yes, feeling, his love. I knew that I knew that I knew he loved me. His amazing grace touched me and opened my eyes. It's a beautiful thing that all it takes is one touch, just one encounter with the living God changed me. My eyes were no longer fixed on myself or my lack. I had encountered the writer of the words I had read. He was real and he was for me. I didn't have to squeeze life out of the words in this book. The word was living and I'd met him. I was in love, captivated. He would take my breath away. Yes, God is love. I pray this day finds you feeling loved by the one who loves you most, the very one who has put your name on his palm, who has counted the very hairs on your head, who has shown you love by sacrificing his one and only son. For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave up his only begotten unique son that whoever believes in, trusts in, clings to, relies on him, shall not perish, come to destruction, be lost, but have eternal, everlasting life. John 3, 16.